And welcome back, this is Bella Scuba with an episode of Let's Play World of Goo. Those of you familiar with the game will notice that I did go to, uh, did go to the World of Goo Corporation. Exciting innovation in Goo product! Um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to double check to see what was going on. What the hell is this? Okay, that's apparently like my email thing for, for the game. As you complete level, the extra goo balls that you collect are sent here. How nice to see them again, though they seem to have lost their essence. This must be World of Goo Corporation's sleek new campus 2.0. They say employees are given free cereal, and they ride up to meetings on scooters. World of Corporation executives say this area is infinite in all directions, and if you look hard, you can see other people here too, building towers off in the distance. Strange, everyone just wants to build up. What's up there anyway? Some kind of metagame? See you real soon, the sign painter! So apparently, I'm supposed to build these up. Um, I'll probably do that at the end, just to see if there's anything good up there, I'll tell you guys about it. This area really is infinite in all directions, but safety first. Fire code regulations limit the number of living things here to 300, the sign painter. So apparently I have a, a max of 300. Is there another sign over here somewhere? No, but yeah, it just keeps going and going and going. Okay, so we'll go over that, maybe, eventually. First, we need to do Ode to the Bridge Builder. It looks harder than it is. <sighs> we, have, we do have awesome music for this level. The music in this game is always good, but this level especially. As the sun set over the last of the hills, what does the goo ball seem to say? That life sure seemed like a giant physics simulation. But as he fell into the spiky death pit below, he knew it probably didn't matter. Love, the sign painter. I don't think there's a spiky pit down here. No, they just fall off into nothingness. Okay, this one. Since he said it's an ode to the bridge builder, I think it's a he, the guy that made this game. Uh, we're gonna do something a little, a little bit like bridge building. I'm going to fail at it miserably, but that's gonna be my goal. See, once again, the hexagon might be the strongest shape in this game, at least for the new boss. Uh, yeah. So the hexagon right there, I'm gonna have to abandon it. I think. Because I just want to build... Honestly, I want to build this way. And then let it fall over as it may. Ready? Go! No! There we go! I caught it just in time. So we need to go... Here, this way... Is that going to be enough to wake him up? <sighs> need one more down here. Damn it. Okay. Oh, I need to go this far anyway. Alright. There we go. Done and done. I only need to get eight. That is so weird. This one, this one definitely was easier than it looks. And that's my bridge. Jelly. No. Good. And I got 35 of them. Awesome. That is a hell of a lot. So we must pan out to view my epic bridge of almost failed. It only took me two minutes, but I got 27 goo balls to add to my corporation, which I guess is some kind of competition as to what I can build. Okay, what do we have? The regurgitation pumping station. Let's take this on. We can do this. It's a secret. What do you have to say? The rest of the goo balls didn't seem to know that they were s extremely delicious. Or about the nature of the smelly pit in which they found themselves. They said something about this being the last level of the first chapter, or whatever that means. The sign painter. Alright, I don't understand what all this is. But, what I do understand is that I get these sticky guys again. And I just need to build the craziest contraption I can think of as this thing bobs around in the water. I pretty much have to build it in all directions so that it balances out until I can... until I can hit both sides. 
See? Ah, oh, so close. Back on. So, yeah. Hopefully it'll stay up right this way. Long enough for me to hit the other side. There we go. Looks like looks like I got it. So then these guys can move up here. And we can start climbing our way out. This one's a lot of... F I love this one. This is a great idea for for a level. I love this one. You have to make them escape. And this one's a lot of fun. You actually feel like you're doing it, you know? Okay. You're good. You're good. Okay. Start climbing up. Looks like we need some reinforcements. More reinforcements on this side. Why won't you stay like that? There we go. I did not mean to grab you. Love, I love the music in this game. The music makes you feel like you're actually doing something. It sounds like spa music. Like I'm, like I'm making these guys escape, which I am. No, don't collapse on me. All right, y you guys are no use to f for me down there. Especially you. When there's just one connection, they just start floating off in random directions. And I grabbed the wrong one. That's the only downside to the green ones. Is that sometimes you can grab the ones that you already are, have used and you don't realize it. It happens when you don't want it to. At least that happens to me. Damn you. I want... There. Was that so hard? Okay, now I need you there. You're useless. You're useless. Let's go. Come on, I want... Well, let me pick up the one I want. That's okay. It, it, it moves a lot faster once you get to a certain point, but yeah, right now... It, it moves very, very slow. Oh, come on. Okay, apparently I'm putting them in the wall. To do that. Okay. You're useless. You're useless. You're useless. So are you. And you. And you. And you down here. Did I lose one? No. Okay. I swear I'm moving up. I swear it. Oh, come on, he was not in the wall. There we go. We need to start climbing up. I think I've spent too much time down here. Because, as you can see, it narrows very nicely. So I need to get these goo balls up here. I have a stable place of operation. What's this? You might be onto something! It'll be a tight fit. You might have to leave some behind. I have never left any behind on this master. That's probably okay. We're all in it together. The sign painter was here too. He was here. Okay. I think we're good. So I can start letting these guys go. Yep, they're being held up. They're being held up up top. And then once this gets narrow enough, and these guys let go of the sides, we might be able to work our way up the middle! Genius! Let's do it. It's always, as always, it's much easier said than done. And I'm leaving the little box behind. I don't, I don't care about that thing. It is not a goo ball! It's not one of us. Okay. We're getting there. We're making progress. These things are supposed to be moving us up. I don't know why they're not doing that right now. 
but let's keep going then. There we go. You saw a little bit of movement there. Keep going. Keep going. We got this. Here we go. It's it's moving. It's moving. We got it. Ah, we made it to the top. Okay. Now once again we need to use friction. Okay. There we go. Lift it up. Lift it up. They say this is the highest point on the entire island. As the sun rises, you can almost see forever. But I wonder what you might see if you floated a little higher. We'll meet again, the sign painter. Come on, make him float. Make it float. And we made it. Nobody got left behind. And they float out of whatever it was that was down there. I can't go any higher. There we go! From very high up and with some totally huge new eyes, the goo balls could see very far! In every direction they could see unexplored new islands, each crawling with undiscovered new species of goo! The gameplay of possibilities would certainly be endless! The Goo Balls hoped a brave adventurer would explore their new discoveries as they drifted higher and higher. They knew they would never be back. End of chapter one. And we've unlocked chapter two. Little Miss World of Goo. It is now fall. And we We'll have to take on Drool next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part of Let's Play World of Goo. I've been Mo Scuba. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.